Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Rob, also known as Checked Out, and today I'm going to be covering this week's hyped sneaker releases for the week of February 28th through March 6th. So as you guys know, this week is pretty packed. We have tons of releases such as Yeezys, Jordans, and Dunks all dropping closer towards the end of the week. There's a few days where it's kind of a sleeper, but this weekend especially is going to be jam-packed. So definitely get ready for that. All the information is going to be in this video. And if you guys are new to the channel and enjoy sneaker reselling content, sneaker investments, and just general sneaker information, definitely consider dropping a subscribe below to stay updated with all my posts. And if you guys do like this style of content, make sure to drop a like at the end of the video if you think that I provided you with value. And if you guys are looking to cop every sneaker release for retail, definitely consider joining my cook group. Link is in the description below. We give our users in-depth guides on how to cop every single sneaker for retail every single week. Just a quick list of stuff that we provide. We provide sneaker release information, add to cart tools, monitors, early release info, hundreds of hours of reselling guides like how to start your reselling business, how to grow Instagram accounts, and how to cop from every site as well as retail release information such as Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all consoles and GPUs. And of course, my favorite, the weekly community voice chats. Those are so fire. If you guys are in the Discord, you guys know what I'm talking about. It is definitely a great time for you to expand on your knowledge and learn about just reselling, sneaker reselling, console reselling, and how to cop releases. However, it is also a great time to get to know myself, everybody else in the community, and honestly, that's really where it's at. So again, guys, if you are in the market for an affordable cook group, definitely click the link in my bio. We are $21 a month, which honestly, you can make that off one release. And considering that we help our users cop every release, it is, you know, it's a no brainer. With that being said, guys, let's get into it. So for this week, I'm definitely going to be changing up is I'm only going to be really covering what is going to be worth your time to cop because obviously there's a lot of stuff that drops every week, but not all of it is definitely worth your time. So starting off with the first release that you guys might want to go for is dropping tomorrow, Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. On February 28th, we have the Nike Dunk High Undercover Chaos Black. And with a retail of 150 and probably an average resale of around 210, this is going to be an okay cop. It's definitely in the brick category. However, if this shoe is very limited and you manage to get it, I can imagine prices going to around like 230, 240 plus. However, prices are probably going to sit around 190 to 210. But the only reason why I am bringing it up is because it is dropping on the Nike sneakers app, which if you guys didn't know, does have free returns and free cancellations. So there's really no risk if you do cop this. Typically limited releases do well. However, it is a dunk high and it's kind of, you know, it's not really anything special. So if you guys have the time, definitely try to cop it. But if you end up sleeping on this one, no worries. There are plenty of other better releases to go for this week. Now, here is what's actually worth your time on Tuesday, March 1st. This is the start of a huge month. And of course, we're starting it off with a very good release. We have the Nike Dunk High Championship Red. And while there is some very little information as where this pair will be dropping because it's not loaded on Nike or sneakers and most retailers do not have it, it is scheduled to be dropping on March 1st. And with a retail of around 115, or I believe it might be 120 now, and an average resale of right now around like 165, prices are probably going to drop to around 150 to 160 on a release day. However, these types of dunk highs typically appreciate in value. I'm talking about like the two colors dunk high. So uh, just for reference, we have the Panda dunk high and the Navy dunk high, and both of those have seen increases in prices. So if you do manage to get a pair, definitely hold 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 until prices are around 190 to 200 also dropping on tuesday march 1st we have the nike dunk high emb nba 75th anniversary chicago and this should be dropping in a full size run full family size run so ps toddler grade school and men's and this release is definitely going to be worth your time if you can even find places that are dropping because like i said just like the dunk highs this is kind of hard to get information on as it's not really loaded anywhere however i'm sure a bunch of like shopify sites and just random websites will just be releasing this on tuesday so definitely be on the lookout if you're in a discord group that has access to monitors such as mine definitely be watching the monitors at around uh 10 a.m eastern as that's typically when most sites will be dropping however a little plug for you guys if you are watching this before tuesday hibbit the website not the app has both the dunk high in the men's and a uh, full family size run of the dunk lows dropping at 
10 a.m. Eastern on the 1st. So of course, this is uh, where manual users will see a lot of success. And honestly, I don't really see any other websites listed it but Hibbit. So here you go. Here's a quick little free plug. But definitely see we have the countdown for uh, March 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern. So good luck with that. Both of them are dropping. Definitely both a must cop. Then skipping over to March 4th, we have the Jordan 1 Lowell Golf UNC. Obviously, this is a no-brainer must cop. It is dropping on the Nike app at 10 a.m. Eastern for a retail of $140. And this shoe is going to be a literal money printer as bids for a size 8.5 right now is at $335. So definitely a release to go for, especially since it's from the Nike app. There's not too much work that you have to do. You just kind of have to be up at 10 a.m. Eastern. And these will be dropping via a two to three minute draw. So a Leo release, not first come, first serve. So yeah, definitely a no-brainer. That is actually on Friday, March 4th. So 10 a.m. Eastern, Friday, March 4th. Sorry about that. Now let's get into the real meat and potatoes of the video. We have the Jordan 1-6 UNC dropping on Saturday, March 5th. And as you guys already know, this is going to be an absolute insane release. Lots of profit to be made. However, I will say the retail of men's pairs has been increased to 210, which is, you know, that's a little much, but however, there will still be profit to be made off this pair. A lot of profit, in fact. And this shoe is definitely going to be uh, one to go for. However, I will say that sneakers did do a shock drop of about 70,000 pairs about a week and a half ago. So that definitely already has impacted market. As we can see, again, with the retail of 210, majority of the sneakers pairs are out. And we can see that prices are selling around 290 to 300 plus, which obviously for Jordan 6 is still very very good but i will say that um I'm, I'm not too sure if sneakers is going to be dropping this i'm sure they will however don't expect it to be 70k stock it's probably going to be very limited on the sneakers app considering they already did their main release if they even do drop it is also worth noting that on the sneakers app they do not have it loaded up for the fifth however they do have the jordan 12s loaded up which is two weeks later so it's looking like sneakers will most likely not drop however if they do it'll be pretty limited but yeah definitely full send on this release on saturday uh this should be dropping at almost all retailers this is going to be everywhere a huge gr however a lot of people will not be able to get these because so many people are going to be running so definitely pick up multiples if you can definitely worth your time and worth your money also scheduled to be dropping on saturday march 5th we have the yeezy mx frost blue which honestly i'm thinking it's a pretty cool pair it's definitely unique however according to sneaker news the retail is going to be 230 so definitely keep that in mind when copying as i remember in store so the Yeezy 350 Dazzling Blue in-store price came to around 246 after taxes. So it's definitely, retail is definitely up there. And if you do cop online, I imagine it's going to be around 250 to 260 final price. And while that was okay with the Dazzling Blue, since that had a lot of demand, this pair I'm sure is going to perform similar to the other MX uh, colorways where it's going to do okay. It's not really going to do much, even though I personally think it is a very cool shoe. It's just Yeezys don't really, you know, they don't, they don't really perform like that anymore. So although it is a very cool shoe, definitely be mindful of where the prices are going to settle. Obviously, market is skewed right now in insanely amounts, but we can see that a bid is 360 for um, a size 9, which like a week before the release is kind of weak. And I'm expecting the stock on this pair to be absolutely insane. So definitely a release to cop but it won't be the most profitable and definitely be careful on the sizes that you do cop. Typically the trend with uh, 350s, it has been that smaller sizes are kind of underperforming as opposed to the bigger sizes. And if you don't believe me, we'll just look at the dazzling blue. We can see that a size, let's say a five through seven is ranging from low 300 to 330. Whereas bigger sizes like a nine through 12 is ranging from 330 to okay maybe 340 definitely an interesting sneaker and i don't know maybe i'll pick one up for myself but i'm definitely going to be running uh aco for my group so we're definitely going to be getting a lot of pairs however um just be careful when you do cop this because you know i i wouldn't go like too all out definitely pick up a few but don't you know go overkill but anyways guys that's about all i got for this week's releases um there's definitely like i said there's definitely more shoes dropping but definitely not worth your time the ones i listed 
are going to be the most profitable. The only other ones I would keep an eye on is the Drake Nocta, uh, the Hot Step, I believe that's what they're called. Those are definitely going to be interesting. However, I just don't really have that much information as to where they're dropping. So I didn't throw them in here. But with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like if I did provide you value and consider subscribing if you do want to see content like this every single week. Like I said before, I make sneaker reselling content, sneaker investing content, and just general sneaker news content. So definitely subscribe if you would like to see more of that. And if you guys are looking for a premium Discord group to join to help you cop every single release, links are all down below. Low. but guys good luck this week with all these releases definitely the yeezys and the unc sixes are going to be absolute movies so good luck to you i hope you guys cop and have a good one